Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Jolie and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist from the PIG Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question and I've included this question in the handout which you can download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Now without further ado, let's get started. Now Fiona conducted an experiment to find out if the presence of water would affect the growth of the green beans. Okay, so whenever we see a statement like this, what we tell the students is that when you see to find out, this actually indicates the aim of the experiment. So what you can do is box up the word if and affect and then underline the words in between the two boxes as well as the words after the second box until the full stop. Now why do we underline these words? It's because it actually indicates our change and measured variable. So I want to find out if the presence of water, that will be my change variable, affects the growth of the bean seeds. That's my measured variable. Now let's take a look at what the question wants. The question tells us which two setups would she choose in order to conduct a fair experiment. So when we see these three words, a fair experiment or a fair test, what do we need to know? we need to know that in order to conduct a fair test or a fair experiment, you can only have one change variable. So I'll write this here, one change variable. So in this case, what is the one change variable that we have? As indicated earlier, the one change variable is only the presence of water. Okay, now what about the other variables in the experiment? They must be kept the same. So other variables kept the same. So between my two setups, one of them should have water, the other one should have no water, and then I need to ensure that all the other variables are kept the same as well. So let's take a look at the first option. We have B versus D. Okay, we have B and D. So setup B, setup D. Now looking closely, what is the difference between B and D? We can see that B was placed on dry cotton pad, which means that there is no water. What about D? D was placed on a moist cotton pad with 200 ml of water. So in that case, it has water. Okay, other than that, Everything else is the same. So that means that for setups B and D, there is one change variable. And the change variable is the presence of water. So this is a very possible answer already. Okay, I'll put a tick over here. Okay, but let's take a look at the other setups and see why are they not the correct answer. Okay, so let's look at B and C. I'll erase this. Okay, now we're focusing on B versus C. Okay, and what's the difference between B and C? Now, B is placed on dry cotton pad, once again, no water. Okay, but C is placed on a moist cotton pad. So C does have water. Okay, and that's not the only difference. What else does C not have? C is placed in a black box. And a black box is actually opaque. So students know that a black box means that it's going to be very dark inside because it will not allow any light to pass through. So for C, there is no light. So in that case, if I were to compare between B and C, you notice that number one, I change the presence of water. Number two, I change the presence of light because B has light, C has no light. So how many change variables do I have? I have two change variables. Presence of water and presence of light. Okay, and since there is two change variable, it would not be a fair test. I cannot take this as my answer. Okay, now let's look at the next one. We're going to focus on A and D. So over here, I'm going to highlight it in green, A and D. Now, what's the difference between A and D? Now, they are both placed on moist cotton pads, but the key difference is that 
For A, it only has a hundred ml of water, but for D, it has two hundred ml of water. Okay, so they both have water, but the amount of water is different. So same thing for A and D, there is one change variable. Okay, but the change variable is not the presence of water. They both have water presence. What is the change variable? The change variable is actually the amount of water given. Okay, and that is not correct because over here I've already indicated that my change variable should be the presence of water and not the amount of water. Okay, so number three is out. Okay, the last one, let's compare between A and C. Okay, I'll use my red highlighter. I'm looking at A, I'm looking at C. Now, same thing over here. Okay, in that case, both also have moist cotton pad. Both have 100 ml of water. But the only difference is that C is placed in a black box. A is not placed in a black box. So, between the two setups, they also have one change variable. Okay, but this time the change variable is the presence of light. Which is not what we're looking for as well. We're looking for the change variable, which is the presence of water. Okay? So the last one is wrong. That means the only possible answer would be number one. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we have made, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!